The Edge Position tool is found in the Position Angle tool category. This tool is great for locating a position on the image based off an edge, like the edge of a web or a metal strip in die stamping. Furthermore, it can be useful when position correcting other tools for an application. The tool is also found under the Count category and is simply called Edge. The Edge tool is useful for counting the number of edges present, like with thread presence, or counting the number of items in a box. The generic tool name under the function list is simply also Edge Position. We will add the tool from the Position Angle category. As with all tools, if you haven't done so already, it will ask you to register the master image. So we'll go ahead and do that at this time. The next step is to add the inspection region to your image. This is the area on the image that you want to scan and locate the edge. In this example, we want to locate the bottom of this metal strip, and we want the tool to fail if it gets out of position. There are several choices for inspection region, but rectangle and rotated rec rectangle are the most common. So we'll go ahead and draw our region, like so. Click OK when complete. Next, set the edge scan direction to the appropriate direction for the application. As a default, it's set for left to right, but we're going to change it to scan from the bottom to top, so we'll locate that bottom edge. If desired, you can also set the edge direction. In this case, we're going from a light to dark edge, so we can specifically specify that if needed. You can continue to adjust the rest of the edge conditions as necessary. Once you've set up the desired detection conditions, you can go ahead and test the tool out by running some parts, as you can see here. Looks like we're properly detecting our edges. Then you can go ahead and set your judgment conditions. This is the pass-fail condition, which will make the tool pass and fail according to the upper and lower limit that you set. As you can see here on our current image, the value is 420, about 425 pixels. You can freely change between the current image and that stored reference image if you like, and set your tolerances accordingly. If we want this to fail, if this gets too far out of position, we'll set an upper limit of about 429 in this example, and maybe a lower limit of 422. So you would set that limit according to the application. So if the edge measured value position goes out of this range, the tool will fail. Click OK to complete the tool setting. You can then run the tool and confirm its operation. You can see if the measured Y position value falls within our lower and upper limit, the tool passes, the measured value is displayed in green. If it falls outside the range, it turns no good and turns red, the measured value. So as long as our measured value is within our range, the tool passes. If it's outside the range, it fails. As mentioned earlier, this tool uh, can also count the number of edges present. So in this example, let's say we want to count the number of terminals here. So we can also use the edge position or edge count tool for this purpose. So I'll go ahead and add another tool, but this time I'll add it from the count category and add the edge tool. Setup is pretty much the same. The first step will be to set up your inspection region. So this time I'm going to put a little scan box here, put it across these terminals. And what we'll do is uh, we'll leave it under the default scan left to right. Now as a default it's counting both directions, so dark to light and light to dark. So you can see our edge count is actually six. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and change that to only look for one direction. So only look for the light to dark change. So you can see we're getting a count of three here. Again, we can continue to adjust, adjust the detection conditions for the edges as needed. Um, also, when you choose it from the count category, you can set the max edge count. In other words, the max number of edges it will look for. The default is 30, but you can change that as needed. So we'll go ahead and set our upper limit of three and lower limit of three if that's the limits that we want. Simply click OK, and again, you can test the tool out. As you can see here, the tool is stationary, so it doesn't move up and down with the part. Another cool thing you can do with edges is you can use them for position correction. So if you remember earlier, we were finding the bottom position of this metal strip. So what we can do is we can use that as a reference and move this other tool accordingly. This is done via the position adjustment menu. What I can do is simply select my original edge position tool as my reference position and then my edge count tool I'll use that uh, reference zero here 
and my tool will move accordingly. So let's click OK. And you'll notice that the tool will now move up and down in accordance to that bottom edge position, as you can see here. In summary, the Edge Position tool can be used to locate an edge on the screen and report back its position, as well as count the number of edges present. The Edge Position tool is also used within many of the dimensions geometry functions.